seven trumpets prepper. You know, guys, I have for many years seen um, the holiday seasons come and go. And now for those of us that keep the Father's appointed times, uh, whether you're Hebrew, Israelite, blood descendant Abraham, or you're somebody of the nations like myself that's doing the very best to join himself to the Most High and keep his commands, I've noticed, I guess this year, greater than ever before. Um, and matter of fact, my wife the other day, even second the motion on it, uh, pointed it out to me. Um, we went to Walmart to get some, uh, you know, some stuff for the house and everything. And I took a moment and walked through the abomination aisle um, for the uh, holiday that involves the uh, lighting of trees and the fat red man. I think pretty much everybody knows what I'm talking about that holiday. And that's currently uh, this month. And I looked diligently through that holiday aisle, um, well, multiple aisles, to see if there was any stitch of a celebration of Messiah's actual birth. You know, like the fact that, well, this holiday is actually named after it. You, one would think, well, then there's got to be something there um, supporting that. And I found only a roll of wrapping paper that said no whale. So just faintly referring to um, the gift of Messiah. And I cannot for the life of me understand uh, why people fight so hardly to hold on to the pagan festivals because um, I noticed I made a lot of pagans mad in that video I recently done right there about the abomination called um, you know you can read it right there in the title I'm just trying not to say these pagan holidays anymore is that um, you know if you want to be pagan that's your business but you know if you're going to call yourself set apart you can't join yourself to these false holidays people will fight so hard to keep the false holidays that are supposed to be labeled for uh, you know Christian um, and I'm not, I don't consider myself Christian, just a humble servant of the Most High God, but all these holidays are supposed to be surrounding, um, you know, biblical holidays and things like that. People fight so hard to keep on to that, but the ones that are actually laid out in Leviticus 23, that whether you're the seed of Abraham or the, you know, a stranger join yourself to the house of Israel um, to worship the Most High and keep His command, people won't know part of that. And it's interesting to me, and one of the reasons I'm making this video today, is that I have also noticed that not only the commercialism, not only that the holidays, that what they're actually supposed to be about, that it's actually, you know, completely replaced, like for, you know, the winter festival that everybody does here that involves the fat red man, when it's actually supposed to be a celebration of the birth of Messiah, which actually was born by most scholars reckoning, uh, during the fall feast, uh, probably during the time of Feast of Tabernacles, a biblical holiday, um, that, you know, people celebrating this fat red man, holiday tree, uh, elves, all this junk, there's no, you know, there's there's no real respect there for Messiah's birth. And when I went to Walmart the other night, me and my wife even seconded that motion. We looked at it, it's like, wow, there's nothing here. And she pointed out that somebody else had said the same thing, um, you know, wrote an article or pointed something out and uh, and shared it with her or whatever and I was like, yeah, it's it there's nothing here that resembles um celebration of Messiah. It's just all consumerism, commercialism. And the other half of that, and then I'm gonna get into scriptural things here in just a second, is that I want to lay a foundation here where we're going with this video today is because the other half of it is is people get so built up for this these holidays. And then as soon as it's over it's just like, oh you know, it's just like depression, and 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 it uh, it's like it's like they're seeking fulfillment in something. And as soon as that last present's open, as soon as that last box is open, it's just like, well, that's that. Another three hundred sixty-five days until next time. And like, you know, you'll flip open Facebook, and somebody's already posting up. It's three hundred sixty-four days until, you know, it's that time again. And the problem is, is the reason it don't fulfill is because it wasn't something instituted by the Most High Yah. Now, don't get me wrong. You can have, uh, you know, you can have uh, get-togethers and celebrations and, and, you know, remembrance of, uh, you know, you started a business 10 years ago and celebrated. Woohoo, that's great. But there's, there's a difference between all that. A holy day, a holiday is a holy day. So... There's nothing holy about all these pagan festivals, um, and there's no scripture, there's no fulfillment, there's no nothing about Messiah in it, there's nothing about the Most High in it. It's all consumerism, commercialism, and it's now more than ever. Like 10 years ago, 
when I was a kid, you would actually, the gist of what, you know, the holiday was about, you would actually buy, oh, yeah, you could kind of see it. But now all you see is, you know, the past 10 years, especially in my life, it's just like, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. There's nothing there. It's not even really a holiday. The holiday itself is even a shale. Um, and so you go and you look at Scripture because I always try to find the reasoning for everything in Scripture. And, and I look back at it, and I guess you could go right back to when the children of Israel were coming out of land of Egypt, and the people wanted, um, you know, a deity to worship. Here they are in the midst of the Most High Yah. And, 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 you know, Aaron's making them a golden calf. And, and, and what does he say? Tomorrow is a festival unto Yahweh, you know? And I'm just like, there you go. You know, you're pu appointing these false, uh, uh, you know, feasts. And then there's like uh, the other one, the two golden calves. Uh, what was it, Jeroboam or Rehoboam? I'm trying to remember. Forgive me. But that, that terrible king in Israel, it should be, should easily remember it. Anyway, you know, here he was, same thing, you know, replacement. It's all, it, it is nothing new um, because, let's see, I think he done the festival in the eighth month. Um, you know, it, it, if you notice, this, there's nothing new under the sun. So if you look back, even in the kings of Israel, um, the ancient Hebrew Israelite people, their blood descendants, they pulled these stunts. All right, well, now, you take the people of the nations, so the Hamitic people and the seed of uh, Japheth and, and some of the seed of Shem that wasn't of Abraham. If you look all these nations around Israel, uh, these pagan things have been going on forever. You know, the, the, the northern people is where it got most of the fat red man stuff going. Um, you know, in the eastern culture, you, you have what, uh, the in the springtime, everybody celebrates the bunnies and all that junk and... Um, fertility and worship junk and all that. You get some of this stuff from Eastern cultures. I mean, you just look around and all this stuff today that's supposed to be like celebrating of uh, biblical things is actually pagan things taken from multiple cultures around. It's nothing new under the sun. And people, you know, do not see the darkness um, in it because it's got a glaze of light across it. And, they, and, and, the, and the pastor men won't come forward and, and, and preach truth. They won't preach the, the true appointed times the most high because when you start preaching that then you start preaching the creator's appointed times you can check that video up there and then when you start preaching the creator's true appointed times then you still got to start acknowledging well this calendar that's from Rome which is abomination which got SAT day worship and SUN day worship both those days are wrong and that it you know it's from one new moon to another one Sabbath to another and it's on a totally different calendar and you know it's so it, it, it really at the end of the day when you start analyzing um, these pagan festivals, you know, it's just like, I hate to say it, it's one of those deals where you look from the outside looking in. Um, I did this with Science with a Flat Earth, you know. Um, I love the shirt my wife got me, guys. You got to get you one of these Flat Earth shirts. Um, not to be marketing. Um, just, I don't even, I don't sell it. But I'll, I'll have to find a link where she got it. It's great. It's a great witness and tool. Um, but, you know, like outside looking in on the Flat Earth is that, I didn't see that one coming. And and you can't half the time because that, you know, we're so caught up in the world. We're so caught up in going a hundred mile an hour every day. And I'm one I was one of those people. One of those people I've had to really dial life back. Um and you know, when you sit back and you analyze all these you look at everything, you take all the lies and ass and you start going to and you're like, Man, this world is flat under a firm dome, just like scripture says, Genesis one. And, um, you know, in detail, breaks it down. And, you know, it's just like the pagan holiday festivals. The, the reason people, um, you know, in comparison to the, 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 the creator's appointed festivals and times, is when you start analyzing and looking back, um, at, at, at looking at the two sides of the coin, it's really simple, is that most of the time people can never see the truth through the air. Because you don't have to have much truth to lead people astray. And that's scary, guys. I mean, that's what just troubles me the worst. Because I pray the most high. I just said it this morning when I was in the shower, taking the shower this morning. I pray. I try to I try to start my day out prayer. I try to finish, finish it with prayer because I'm always busy. You know, I'm always working. I'm always building for people. I try to try to pray two, three times a day like Daniel did. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm just like, please show me, lead me into all truth. And, you know, something we have to be careful about is that, you know, you don't come into all the truth at once. It's a progressive thing. Uh, you know, a long time ago, I, when I was a kid, I'll say this, and, and I'll get toward the end of this video, 
So when I was a kid, I started seeing that the pagan festivals uh, was it was all falsehood. Like you know, and I, I said this in that video that I, earlier I was talking about about the exposing the fat red man, this false holiday. Uh, you look at things, you analyze them. When I was a kid, I started seeing I was lied to about. It. And the problem, the the last problem of it all is that it, you know people finally see that these holidays are false and then it's like well, why bother you know believing in anything um, when it comes to the scriptural holidays and stuff like that and that's so sad because you know to me the one holiday of uh, uh, the holy day of all the days of the year I look forward to is day of atonement you might be like that is the day you're supposed to afflict your soul that's got to be like the most negative of all the days but to me guys, it is like it. I feel like I live to that day each year. It's a flushing. It's a detox of sin in my system because I know Messiah paid the ultimate price for salvation. But but you know I'm I'm one of the people of the nations. You know I'm not blood seed of Abraham, so I feel like I have to go the extra mile of the way, to, you know, to show my love to the Most High Yah. And um, and and I want to live a life that's so clean that whenever. You know, I believe it's in Zechariah. Um, I don't have the scripture in the moment, but I will put it in the video description below for all of us that are of the nations. You know, it says that in that day that many of the nations will be joined the Most High God and will become his people. What a blessing, you know? I mean, and, and listen, all these hateful Hebrew Israelite camps and, and all these people that just say that there's no hope for the gen, uh, you know, for the so-called Gentiles, people of the nations. I mean, that one verse alone right there, it's either you're with the Most High Yah or you're listening to these hateful Hebrew camps. And there ain't all of them hateful, but I'm just saying that's you've got to, you've always got to cut down the middle with people anymore. Just like these pagan festivals, just like the flat earth, just like everything. you got to figure out where you stand. And, it, dude, I mean, this stuff's just got to be put away. And it, it, it breaks my heart. And I guess the reason that prompted me to make this video is that, like, I had a family member say to me, it's just like, I can't remember exactly how that they worded it, but it was like, that somebody died that, you know, when, when this holiday was over. And I was like, wow. I was like, for real? I was like, it's that much to you? I mean, it's like, I, I mean, I can't understand why people put that much stock into a made-up, man-made festival. Because, you know, the, the, the holy days to me, and that's a big contrast too. Because like all these pagan festivals that's made up, and I promise them, this is the last thing I'm going to say for you in this video is that, you know, all the pagan fa uh, made-up festivals, the, it, it's man-made. So there, there's no fulfillment in that. But the Most High Yah is appointed times. There's fulfillment in that. And not only that, there's a reminder of salvation. You know, you look at Messiah when he come. All the spring feasts have been been fully met by, you know, his first coming. And I, I think all the final feasts, uh, the fall feasts, will be met with his second coming. And so many, you know, people that that you know, got so much studying and years of background in scripture, you know, I, I believe multitudes have said the same thing. And and I'm just a farmer, you know, just a, a installer off grid guy, just a simple man and saying the same thing. And I think that there is so much more, there's meat, there's fulfillment, there's satisfaction in the holy days of Most High. And you know, after Day of Atonement, um, you know, there's just a, a peace that I, I, you know, there's that peace that you look forward to because it's just like a day to reflect, to pray, to confess, to just, just put all that mess behind you and move toward a new year. And, you know, that way when spring comes, there's that fulfillment and excitement and happiness, you, you know, and you can celebrate. And I just look forward to the fact that the new kingdom plainly says, you know, uh, the Feast of Tabernacles be kept through the new kingdom. So uh, based on what I could read out of uh, the prophets, so, I mean, you know, it's time that you put away, if you love the Most High Yah, in closing, it's time you put away these false abominable feasts, um, such as the X-Mass and um, the um, Egg and Bunny Festival and all this garbage, because I'm not going to, yeah, anybody that lives in this world knows which uh, holidays I'm talking about. It's time to put all those away. It's time for you to love the Most High Yah to open up Leviticus 23, look at these holidays, and be like, if I really want to celebrate something, if I really want to worship the Most High Yah, if I really want to get joy out of something um, when it comes to celebrations and holidays, here's where it's at. Okay? So, guys, I hope that's helped to you. Until we see you again here at Seven Trumps Prepper Channel, as always, I love you guys, and I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua. Amen.